Hi everybody. Now we are going to solve one more example using Taylor's series. Okay. So your question stands like this. I write the question. Example two. Find the Taylor series expansion. Find the Taylor series expansion of e power x into sin y near the point minus one comma pi by four. Minus one comma pi by four up to first degree to the first degree terms. This has appeared in two thousand three and two thousand eleven and university papers. Okay. Ah, uh, please understand. The question says. Uh, you need to find the Taylor's expansion of e power x into sine y. In the in, in the um, sorry, the points are minus one comma pi by four, and you are asked to write just up to first degree term. So from this, it's clear it must be from section A, and you have to just bother about the linear term, which is this part is there, and this is linear. This is linear. And you can stop there because from here the quadratic is starting. So first read the question carefully. After that we have to do the terms up to what is required. Only thing you have to do carefully. That's all. So we are going to expand e power x times sine y, where a is minus one, b is pi by four. So a and b are given to you, and you are just asked the linear. Okay. So stop up to the first line. Okay. Let me erase the question so that I get some space to do. So your question is y equal to e power x into sine y. And from minus one to pi by four. That is your question. Okay. Shall we start doing? This is a for you, and this is b for you. Okay. And um. Don't get confused. Sometimes I write b like this, sometimes like this, but always it is wise to write in one of the ways. Okay. So y is e power x into sine y. A is negative one and b is pi over four. Okay. Let us do start. F of a comma b. What is f of a comma b? F of negative one comma pi over four. Okay. What is this? E to the power of negative one times sine y means sine pi by four. And what is e to the power of negative one? One by e. And what is sine pi by four? Sine pi by four is one over root two. So you can write it neatly as root e into root two. Okay. So as I told you, you need to write it organized. This question especially e into root two, and keep it ready. So your first part is. Here, okay. So we are going to do the second part. For that, I need to calculate f x of a b. Okay. Let me do f x of a b. F x of a b. Before that, I need to do f x of x y. Okay. So when I want to do the first partial derivative with respect to x, so y is a constant. So let me write sine y to start with. Because that is a constant, and what's the derivative of e power x is e power x. So this is nothing but e to the power of x. So we have done the derivative. So now I need to do f x of negative one comma pi over four. And when I substitute this, it is same as this. Okay. So just I'll write it quickly. E to the power of negative one into sine pi over four. So f x of negative one comma pi over four is nothing but one by e into square root of two. 
the second one is ready for you now okay now let us do fy of ab for that i need to calculate fy of xy so what is fy of xy take this function uh, we are going to differentiate with respect to y so which is constant now e power x is constant okay so when it is a constant just carry it over here do not do anything okay times and this is done there what is the derivative of sin y is cos y so <coughs> this is done so what is f y of negative 1 comma pi over 4 so this is e power negative 1 comma cos of pi over 4 so this is you know cos of pi over 4 is how much 1 over root 2 so this is again 1 by e times 1 over root 2 which is nothing but root 2 e okay so we have calculated this term also it is ready with us now let me write it in the rectangle and keep it okay f y of negative 1 comma pi over 4 is nothing but 1 by square root of 2 into e now all the answers are ready here okay so we are now going to just substitute it okay mm, let me erase this part okay so your function was e power x times sin y equals f of a b what is f of a b 1 by e times root 2 plus 1 by 1 factorial into x minus a x stays as it is please remember a is nothing but negative 1 so negative of negative 1 becomes positive 1 because <coughs> a was minus 1 we wrote here remember first in the beginning a is minus 1 and b is pi over 4 okay into fx of a b what is fx of a b is again 1 by root 2 into e i can write it as e into root 2 also e into root 2 and then plus y minus b what is your b your b was pi over 4 okay so y minus pi over 4 into f y of a b what is f y of a b 1 by root 2 into e i am going to just copy that here 1 by root 2 into e and it is completed because they are asking us to do only up to the first term it was easy for us So after copying everything how much simplification you do um, not very much you can just take out 1 by root 2 into e outside and much of simplification cannot be done in this so 1 is left out and 1 by 1 factorial is how much 1 ok so just you can ignore this so what is if 1 by e root 2 or root 2 e both means the same it is taken out means x plus 1 is left out here plus and y minus pi by 4 is left out here because 1 by root 2 e is taken out y minus pi by 4 ok and up, up, this much you can simplify but do not forget to put plus etc because it goes on and on we are doing just the first term so this is 1 divided by e times root 2 into 1 plus 1 is 2 plus x plus y minus pi by 4 4 and then you can put a plus etc and then stop we are asked to expand up to the first term of e power x into sin y so we have completed it okay hope you understood the problem clearly